Hello, Torin here from Grab Summit 2017. 100 leaders of tomorrow have gathered in Washington to brainstorm solutions to the biggest challenges facing the biotechnology industry. With me here is Dr. John Reed of Roche, Head of Early Research and Development. Dr. Reed, can events like Gap Summit, where the leaders of today meet the future leaders of tomorrow, have a tangible impact on the healthcare of 2050? Torn, it's great to be here with you today. I think it can in as much as so much innovation comes through the collision of people and the collision of ideas that people bring from different fields, different perspectives. So I think meetings like this really help to do that. They help to create networks of innovators, uh, a platform for sharing ideas, uh, a way to, you know, to really bring in a variety, a diversity of perspectives. So I think this is a great tool for fostering innovation and trying to address some of our biggest challenges. So in Big Pharma, there's a constant need to balance the demands of shareholders with the need to take risks, to innovate, to come up with original solutions for therapies. How do pharmaceutical industries manage this balance? I think for the most part it is a question of balance, although fundamentally to be successful in the long run, one has to be committed to innovation as a long-term strategy and to know that if you're going to innovate, you're going to have to take risks. And that has to be the culture of an organization in order for it to be successful in this business. Uh, it's not to say that one shouldn't try to uh, have some balance in that and, of course, use good judgment. But uh, fundamentally, one has to be committed to uh, innovation first. And if you do that, if you follow the science, then the money side will take care of itself and the shareholders will be happy. Mm. So um, obviously there are you know, several emerging trends in the healthcare industry, notably things like changing demographics, novel diseases, new epidemics. How can the R&D business model adapt to be more flexible to change as the trends change? I think there are a number of opportunities made possible through technology for one thing that can make the R&D model more flexible, more adaptable. Uh, certainly, you know, all the wonderful things going on in big data, machine learning, wireless technologies, the ability to do remote sensing, continuous uh, biosensing of patients, et cetera, is really opening up new vistas of opportunity for us to think how to do things in a very different way. So uh, that's really quite exciting. I think we're all still learning how to do that, how to harness that potential. Uh, but uh, the, 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 it's clear that there's a, there's a future there that uh, looks very exciting and one that's going to be uh, very powerful. Mm. And just finally, when you came to Roche, you were already an accomplished scientist. But it's often quite difficult as a bench scientist to make a real impact. What additional skills would you suggest that such individuals could take in order to make a real impact and advance their careers? I think there are a number of things that are important for making an impact in as much as nobody ever makes much of an impact as an individual contributor. So I think it's about you know, learning how to work with people, how to collaborate, uh, in some cases how to lead people. Uh, so developing um, emotional intelligence and people skills is very important and, and something that maybe some of us scientists uh, don't, don't naturally gravitate to. Certainly for me, that's a lifelong journey in, in how, to, how to do that, how to work with people, how to manage people, but something that um, one uh, should commit him or herself, herself to. Uh, very important also for us all to continue working on our communication skills, right? Because this is how we share our ideas, this is how we motivate others to rally behind a vision. And so I think uh, that's something that we, uh, we all as scientists have to continue to work on. Particularly hard for us as scientists because we tend to get caught up in all the technical uh, details and we love that. But that's not necessarily the way to really reach people's hearts and minds. It, you know, it's trying to keep concepts simple, how to communicate them in a clear, compelling way. That can be hard for scientists because we love the details. So I think that's another area where, um, where I would, I would offer the suggestion to, uh, to work on that. So those are a couple ideas, obviously. The, maybe the third is uh, you know, to dream big, think big, address big uh, problems. Don't be afraid to take on so-called BHAGs, big, hairy, audacious goals. Really try to strive for things that will be transformational, not incremental in what you devote your, your career towards. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Can't get enough Gap Summit? 
follow our social media channels to see more.